Blessings Crystalline Ohana, this is Holistic Alchemy, and I'm finally back doing YouTube videos. Um, I know I took in a really long break in 2017. Um, 2017 was just really a year for me to just really kind of kind of just lay off making YouTube videos and just to sort of have fun and um, just a lot of self-discovery within myself and just, you know, just really learn more about myself and uh, what I can do. But 2017 was a really good year for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, learned lots of new things, went to, made great memories with great people and just a lot of deep um, soul development that happened for myself. Um, so yeah. So I actually wanted to try something new and it is weekly card readings. Um, I have never done this before on my channel and I actually want to start doing it now um, just to really get myself back into, into the motion and, and just, you know, really um, give guidance and clarities of what energies and vibrations are going on every week. And so I could be your little guide <laughs> to be your guide and just pull cards out and just, you know, really channel intuitive messages on you know, what I'm getting out of the cards. So in this week's intuitive card reading, I'm going to be working with the Spirit Messages um, by John Holland, and it's one of my favorite Oracle decks. So I'm going to begin by shuffling the, uh, the, the cards, the deck. And I'm going to be pulling out three cards. So I'm just going to shuffle right now. I'm going to ask that my angels and guides to be with me now, and I'll call upon your angels and guides to be with you right now. And, you know, just really think of, you know, what what do you want guidance on? Um, you know, everyone may have a, um, some sort of intention behind of a reading. Um, so this is, I'm just going to be pulling out cards and whatever in, uh, question or intention that you have in mind, um, let it be so. And just sort of try to relate the card, the, the messages of the cards to your question or to your intention. Uh, So the first card is New Beginnings, and this is really interesting because we're actually coming towards the new moon on the, let me check my calendar, <laughs> on the 15th of Thursday, and Thursday, and this coming new moon is also Chinese New Year's, and we're coming towards the year of the dog. So the message of the card is everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving, and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you on in a new direction. So it's interesting how this card pops up because again there is the new moon um, energy and then that new year. But it's also because um, you know we're still fresh in this uh, in 2018. Um, the messages I got my, from my angels and guides when I did my yearly card reading for myself, um, I was sensing the, the energy and vibration of what this year is bringing forth to all of us. And it was actually just a lot of prosperity, success, um, abundance, and all of that is really gonna be moving really, 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 really fast. And if you have noticed that 2017, um, especially towards the end of 2017, and then January of 2018, we just, went through a weird emotional roller coaster of purging and just really purging out things that aren't serving us um, anymore, things that we're, that we're holding back, emotions that were buried deep inside of us. And um, when we go through those purgings, even though it might not be pleasant, it's a form of cleansing and purification. So you allow things um, to be birthed, you allow things to come to fruition because you're releasing old stuff that um, isn't serving you. So this card is just teaching you that, um, you know, just re to really start new with yourself or to really um, channel this uh, new moon energy and set new intentions, new goals, new uh, um, dreams. Um, maybe you've had something that you sort of swept underneath the rug for quite a while and it's coming up to surface again. But this time um, your angels and guides aren't um, but this time your angels and guides are really, really gonna push you forward this time and to make you manifest your goals and your dreams. It's, it's, gonna, it's sort of gonna be like boot camp, so it's gonna be really forced upon you because uh, a lot of us have, uh, I've been seeing that uh, we sort of swept things underneath the rug and then now it's time to put things into motion, into action and into practice. So the second card is breathe. And the message is, the breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and out, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine. 
The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. So this card is talking about just really breathing in or taking in things that um, that is that's really nourishing to your personal growth, personal development, and to your soul growth. So um, one of my invocations uh, when I, I call in the eastern direction, the element of air, I always say, um, spirit of air, um, please uh, allow us to breathe in love and to exhale what no longer serves us. So the breath, um, the, the message of this card I'm getting is just to really um, take in things that, again, like I said, that are nourishing for your personal development, for your personal growth, and but to also exhale uh, things that no longer serve your highest good and just to be thankful for those experiences whether it be you know say negative or wasn't pleasant but um, be grateful for the blessings for the lessons that you learned out of that and get just really getting that out of your system and again to breathe in the love and um, the, the love and the guidance of the divine so the last card is relationships and interesting how this card pops up because we're coming towards Valentine's Day but the message is relationships are mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself, as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So this card is all about, um, it's just telling you have a, have a deep intimate connection with yourself, not to really give our energy, give our power to others in order to feel like you have a relationship. Because a lot of the time when we tend to, when we give our power to people, um, or to feel like, or to feel like um, you feel fulfilled with this other person, um, you're pretty much leaving um, just really fragments of yourself. And then once say that relationship has ended or it didn't end well, you feel like part of this, you, you cannot find yourself. You don't feel like you're whole again. So this card is all about um, you just really having a deep connection with yourself and you know, not to really give you power to others or to find, um, to find yourself within others because everyone is on their soul on their own soul's journey. My advice with this card is to really practice um, rituals of self-love and that could be just really practicing self-care and self-care isn't selfish because we're having this alone time with ourselves. We're really connecting with ourselves. We're listening to our soul. We're listening to what, what our soul wants and doing so we nourish ourselves. So thank you guys for tuning in to this uh, weekly card reading. And I hope uh, this helps you guys um, to see what energies and vibrations are going on in your life. Um, be and again, because we're coming towards the Lunar New Year, um, I recommend, because um, I'm a crystal guy, I'm a crystal healer, um, work with pyrite and hematite. Uh, hematite is going to uh, keep you grounded and secure within yourself. And then pyrite is all about manifestation and um, good luck, prosperity, and things um, coming to fruition. So work with those two stones. So thank you guys for watching and until next time, bendiciones.